fourth game brings out another capacity crowd to witness what may become one of the most dramatic in all baseball history. It's the ninth inning, the fateful ninth, two outs, two on for Brooklyn. The Yanks' Bill Bevins just went out away from a no-hit game. Labajetto comes on in to pinch hit. All right, we're all set. Bevins looks in. Takes the stretch, here's the pitch, Lamagetto swings, there's a line drive to right field, the ball, the ball bounces off the wall, Lamagetto races down to second, scoring Gianfredo and mixes. The crowd goes wild as Dodger players and fans mob Lamagetto, who brought Brooklyn a sensational 3-2 victory over the Yankees. Robinson, after a foul and a ball, flashes a drive to left. The leap by Slaughter is in vain. Gilliam comes home in the single with a run, which wins for the Dodgers one to nothing. Let's have another look at that play. It's a tough one for Turley to lose, and a grand one for Levine to win. The crowd saw two great pitchers today, and baseball drama at its best. It's Eddie Matthews at the plate. And he connects. Hank Bauer moves back, but the ball is out of reach. A home run and a 7-5 Milwaukee victory. It was nothing new for Eddie, as he had hit 32 homers during the 1957 season. Matthews Homer has evened the series at two and two, and his teammates give Eddie a hero's welcome. The scrappy Milwaukee Braves and their courageous left-hander Warren Spahn have turned what looked like a heartbreaking defeat into a great victory. It brings up Billy Bruton. Billy works the count to one and one, and then whistles a line of the right center. That's a hit all the way, and that cop scores the run that gives the Braves a four to three victory. Bruton and Adcock are mobbed by the jubilant Braves, but just as big a factor in the victory was the steady clutch pitching of Spawn. There's a drive at the deep left field. Look out now. That ball is going. Going down. And they're asking. It's a little left field fence for a home run, and the Pirates win it 10 to 9 and win the World Series. At second base, Morgan is at first. They're worried about Griffey at second base. Base hit, left field. We're going to have a race. Here comes Griffey. Here comes the throw. Cincinnati wins it, four to three. Tony Perez comes through with a big base hit, a clutch base hit, and look at him, Bob Perez, around first base. Cincinnati on a base hit by Perez. No balls and a strike to Martinez. Line drive. We are tied. Griffin is coming around. And the corner's burning. He's going to try to score. Here's the division championship. No one has won it. No one has won it.
world. The Diamondbacks are world champions. It is good! And the Marlins have won game four. Four three final as Gonzalez goes deep. His first home run of the postseason. Ortiz in the deep right field. Back is Sheffield. We'll see you later tonight. two-minute game and worth every second of it for the Boston Red Sox. Ortiz fights it off center field. Damon run into the plate and he can keep on running to New York. Game six tomorrow night. That it's still a two inning outing as he has yet to record an out. Goes into the corner. And the score is Jackson. And the Indians take a two nothing division series lead.
series is tied in a game of pace. From the set, and the one-two. Hit up the middle, a base hit! The tying run is scored! Here comes Rosario with the winning run! And it's pandemonium at Progressive Field!